Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. Are you ready for another fun and enthralling video on Chris's Beer Reviews? Or well, stick around if you are, because we are off to Samuel Smith Brewery. We're having a look at their the celebrated oatmeal stout coming in at 5% ABV in a 550ml bottle. Uh, I picked this up in my local off license. Uh, I think it was around about the two quid mark. I, I do enjoy Samuel Smith beers. I've had lots of them. I've got lots more in. And I just fancied a stout, so I thought let's go with the, the Sam Smith Oatmeal Stout. If you haven't had any Sam Smith's beers, you are missing out, but they are glorious. Let's put it in the big Sam Smith's pint glass. Let's get on with it. Let's see what this one's all about. I think this is the only, pretty much the only Samuel Smith beer I've not had. So I'm looking forward to this one. And I'm hoping it's going to be good. Don't go over. Thank you. Very well carbonated indeed. Bit of an aggressive pour, some nice aromas coming off of there. Let's get a bit more in. There's a little bit left in there, but let's pop that on there for your viewing pleasure. Or if it will stay, that'll probably fall off and there's still beer left in there. Uh, but let's have a look at the beer. It is not a jet black. It is certainly got some ready hues around the bottom, but it does have a nice tanned head, quite foamy and frothy. Looks good, let's have a sniff. Not huge to say on the, the aroma. Mm. A little elements of black treacle and a bit of a roastiness. But other than that, it's not a huge aroma. So let's get tasting. Cheers. I'm taking it off there, it's wobbling. I don't like it on there, that'll fall over. Um, that is really carbonated for a stout. Really carbonated. Bored on what I would call fizzy. I know carbonation is fizzy, but sometimes you get a fizzier feel than others. And that type of carbonation in a stout is a little bit bizarre. That said, that's a good stout. That is quite enjoyable, even with that, pardon me, pardon me again, that super carbonation. Really good mouthfeel, almost a little bit sticky. Not imperial stout stickiness, but it's just got a little bit of stickiness to it, which is rather pleasant. Despite that fizziness, there is quite a nice smoothness to it that just sits really well with that body. The body on it is superb for 5%. A little bit of stickiness is lovely. Gentle malts, gentle roasted malts. There's almost caramel toffee going on in there. A little bit of black treacle going on in there. And just a very delicate, a bit of finish. It's very straightforward, but nicely brewed. I won't read out the back because it's Normally bloody loads on these. I like that Samuel Smith's always give you serving suggestions as well. Pizza and salad. Not sure about a stout with salad. Uh, pasta and other Italian foods. Lobster with drawn butter. Lobster with drawn butter. Uh, steak and kidney pie, defo. Plowman's lunch, yeah, get that. Dark flavoured bread, British and French cheeses. Yeah, very nice. Uh, opaque, wonderfully silky and smooth. It is actually. Complex, medium, dry palate and bit sweet finish. I wouldn't overly disagree with that. Nice sweetness on the front. Nice kind of malts, nice roasty malts. There is this kind of sweet malt that's kind of toffee caramel, as I've said. A little bit of black treacle, finishing with a very delicate bitter finish. Uh, and a, a really, really good mouthfeel. Uh, I really like that. That is cracking. There you go. Go and get yourself some. It's good. Bye now.